to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse. I've been modeling up this little SEMA quadcopter for an upcoming video series and I came across something that I thought would be a good tip for you guys in working with transparent components uh, within your assembly. Now I've got a component here that is going to be a little cap to go over the, uh, the control board and protect that control board. So I've drawn up the cap, you can see I've added a, an appearance that makes this component transparent. That's fairly thin uh, and the combination of those two things can oftentimes make things a little bit difficult when we're working in the assembly. So I've got two tips of things that I typically do when I'm working with transparent components. We'll check those out now. I'll use my shortcut bar to insert the component. I've already got it open, so I'll select it, place that component. Now I've got a very small face underneath here that I'll use for mating purposes, so I will use my G key. All right, very thin face there, and we'll mate that here, make that coincident. And I'm just using my control key to grab the mate shortcuts. Now this little bubble on top is supposed to align with this section of the control board so I will use the planes and realign this. So we use the front plane and the right plane of the assembly and rotate that in place. Now that we've gotten this in place what I'd like to do is match up these holes so that they line with the component underneath the little frame piece underneath. Now selecting this can be difficult because by default SolidWorks will select through transparencies. So unless I catch it where there's nothing underneath it, I will end up selecting what's beneath it. This leads us to our first tip. The first tip is to hold shift while selecting anything with transparency. If I hold shift on the keyboard and select, you'll see that it selects the face that I'm clicking on rather than what's underneath it. This allows us to very quickly, and oftentimes I will just hold my shift key when I'm selecting those transparent components and we're picking up what's on top rather than what's through it. You can change your options in SolidWorks to allow you not to be able to select through your transparency, but I prefer to leave it on because it is a handy option at times. So I want to create a sketch on this face, so I'll First, hold shift, select my component, we'll enter into edit part mode. From there, I'll select the same face and we'll create a sketch. From that sketch, I'll select the underlying holes. I'll back that out a little bit. And select this one. Select that one. that one and we'll just use a convert entities now from here we'll simply use a cut extrude we'll say through all okay and now we can see those holes are aligned I'll use my D key to move my confirmation corner and now we've got what we were after. Now another tip that I use when working with transparent components is I don't tend to like the lines turned on, so shaded with edges is not usually what I'm looking for. Though oftentimes when I'm working with the whole assembly, I do like to have edges on just because it adds a little bit of definition, makes things easier to see. So what I'll typically do is I'll turn off edges for that component only, and we can do that by expanding out our display pane now from here I can choose what type of shaded mode I, I would like for each component. In this case again I would like that shaded without the edges, we'll say OK, and now only that component will be shaded without edges and that looks quite a bit cleaner. So I hope these couple of tips help you work more easily and more fluidly with transparent components and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.